Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Recently, Google has made a lot of new releases around Gemini and we talked about that in my previous video where we looked at Gemini for Google Workspace. So now I've been creating content on Google AI Studio, formerly known as Make a Suite, Palm API, which is now known as the Gemini API for a while now. And um, I wanted to make a video that talks about basically what's new with Google AI Studio, what wasn't there before and what's there now. So in this video, we'll just understand all the new updates that Google AI Studio has had in the past few weeks. And um, it's, we'll just have a hands-on, we'll just look at what are, what are the features and um, how we can use them. This is the Google AI for Developers documentation where it tells me that Gemini 1.5 Pro model is now available in private preview. So you have to join the waitlist for that. I filled up the late waitlist about a week back when the announcements were made and um, I have got access to it now successfully. I'll be leaving this article link in the description while we look at another one that talks about the next generation model that is Gemini 1.5 which now allows us to interact with 1 million tokens in your prompt that we'll be looking at in the demo. And um, th these are just various updates that have been made in uh, the generative AI space for Gemini and more. So let's take a look at that. Now uh, we'll go to our Google AI Studio. You just type in AIstudio.com and you come up to this where you have your prompts. If you see on the left side, you have a feature now to create a tune model directly. So you can select an existing prompt, give it some input output, give it some description, and you can even choose a particular model that you want for your example. So this is how you can basically create a fine or you can fine tune a model inside of Google AI Studio. I'll be releasing a new video for the uh, fine tuning of a model instead of Google AI Studio very soon, so stay tuned for that. And uh, other than that, if we go ahead and create a new, any type of prompt, maybe be it a chat prompt, free prompt, or a structured prompt. In the free from prompt, now you can see you have the ability to in insert images, videos, files, folders, and you can even test input directly from here. And on the right side, you can see all the new models that is Gemini 1.0 Pro, 1. Point Pro Vision, and the new model that can that can handle or support up to 1 million tokens. So in the Gemini 1 way version, you can um, upload a file by your Google Drive or you can upload a file from your desktop. You can upload a folder from your desktop and ask questions or you can just do something very crazy with it, which also has a 30,000 token count, right? If you go to the Gemini 1.5 Pro Vision, you can now integrate images. And I have covered a similar video previously where we talked about the pro vision model inside of google ai studio we built a interior designer if you haven't seen that video i would recommend you to watch that so i'll leave that link in the description and other than that when you go to the 1.5 pro you are allowed to insert a video maybe it's um, from your google drive or a desktop you can you can upload that video from here and for now we can maybe even try a sample video here that says sherlock junior 1924 and you can see that when we selected the 1.5 Pro model, you have the ability to put or you the prompt tokens go up to 1 million. So in a few seconds, once the video is uploaded, we can move forward with carrying out different things. So now that the video is uploaded, I can add in some text and say, what is happening in this video? And I can click on run. And it should be basically able to re view, view the video and answer the question. It took a while, but um, it took about 20, 21 seconds to tell me that the video shows a scene from the 1924 silent film Sherlock Jr. And it's able to do that. Now, if I ask a question saying, uh, let's take an example. Let's just remove this and type in who or uh, what was the cast for this film. I can click on run. And maybe in, in the next few seconds, it will be able to answer me the cast for the film. Here you can see in, in, in exactly a few seconds, it has told me the entire cast that was there for Sherlock Jr. 1924. So this is how basically the 1.5 Pro Gemini model works. I'll be creating an in-depth video in the future where we'll be talking about this particular type of model and how we can use this feature where you can 
put images in a prompt to our advantage. The same thing is going to be working for the files one and the folder one and the video and the image one where you can upload files and ask questions based on it. Let's say you have a folder or maybe you have a file of data that you have been given by a colleague or a friend or a teammate and you don't want to spend hours studying that document. You can just pass it here as a prompt and you can ask questions. What is in this document? What do I do with this? What do I do that with? That is how you can use this. Now, let's say if you have uh, your documents inside of Google Workspace, maybe you have it, have your files in your Gmail or your Drive. You can basically now connect that to since there have been new updates for Gemini for Google Workspace. Um, I have already uploaded a video around that. So you can check that out. The link is in the description. So basically, this is where we come to an end for another very short and interesting product understanding video. We looked at the new updates that have been made. And uh, this is just to give you a gist of all the features that that have come out and um, I'll be creating more tutorials around this where we'll be going in in depth of these tools and we'll be building some interesting products. Mm -hmm. Until then, if you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.